Hey guys, so this is the next video. So this is page two of the Blind Society, or the Blind Eye, sorry. So this page is a bit more simplistic. So as you can see, this is the page on the previous video. So the page we've done here, obviously I need to go over certain things in black pen, which I haven't done as of yet. But so we are doing the right hand side of this page. I have lost a fingernail in the process. My phone is going to go off 10 to a dozen. Um, I do apologise. So this is the page we're doing. So this page is the page that says Blind's Eye and has the eye and some writing, etc. I do apologise straight away if you haven't seen any of my previous videos recently. I'm still not very well. That's why I've also put a few videos to the side and doing them now because I'm not well, I haven't been well. So basically, please be patient. If you want to see the rest of these pages so and um, know what they say, then please take a look at my other videos and the tutorial on how to do the other pages. Each page is individually done so that you guys can find them easier. So, what am I doing? So, first of all, I'm just going to use my pencil and I'm going to write up top here the blind, the blind eye. I always say blinds. I don't know why, but I do. It's the blind eye. So I'm going to write that up here. So this needs to be quite thick text up here. So um, what I'm going to do is, as well, you'll see that I'm doing it kind of 3D and open like that because in the end, when I go over it in black, I will colour that bit, that bit in black. If I mumble at all, I apologise. It is where I am not well, and I did a video yesterday where literally at one point I stopped completely and was like I don't know what I'm saying um always good when you get that ill <laughs> I kind of thought I got over it and I got rid of it and then it kind of like come back to haunt me and I was like great <laughs> like exactly what you need um yes As I do say in all my videos to do with the Gravity Falls book that we are making all together, obviously I do do my best to read um, exactly what the book says. I do read script because I can write in script as well. Um, I was taught to write like that at my primary school. So I do stand by some, obviously I do my best to get as close to the original writing as I can do but I do stand by it is not 100% and I have never said it is 100% um, from the get go but I like to say that in every page just as kind of like a bit of, dis bit of a disclaimer so that's what yes we. I like to obviously make you guys aware of oh sorry I apologise Right, so that is up there. Obviously, as I've said, I will go over those in black pen and I will find them out and they will look a lot better. So the next thing we need to do is actually draw the eye itself. So this is a really simplistic drawing. It's basically kind of like draw a really basic eye like this. Kind of like, I guess, what you'd draw at school. Nothing fancy. Kind of like a cat's eye in the middle and this bit is going to be completely coloured in and then you need to do basically an X through the eye but you also need to basically double up these lines because this needs to be it in so um just the way I work I'm gonna quickly turn this around like this so now I'm gonna use my normal pen that I use that you guys see me use uh 
I have been that slightly too big, haven't I? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this just a little bit smaller at the edges. And that looks really poop. I can't believe. Where I just put that thing? Oh, that's what I want. That's why I turn the page so much. That's better. Yes, I just need to make this slightly smaller because I made it too big actually. As you can see, it's better because I actually need something to go along the side here, which I did forget about. Right, so this is a bit random, right, but you've got to do this all on the side here. This is in the book, so this is why we do it. Uh, I do, oh, sugar, make funny, two funny accents that I have no idea where they come from, but that is just what I do. Right, so we're going to do, start off with three lines like that and we're obviously going to follow those lines along that side and basically they're like kind of like little tiny rectangles and then try to make these level I need to do a little gap and then a small one and a big one obviously I do I'm going to be doing this tutorial now every Thursday again mainly just because Thursday is easier for me because I have access to certain rooms which mean I can do the filming of it a lot better um, that's one of the things that I noticed a lot of people saying previously in the videos um, that the quality wasn't to the best which is why I've obviously gone and got a tripod now so you can I can see exactly what I'm doing it's so much better and it's better for you guys as well so try and gonna see if I'm gonna do that Oh, it's probably better if I do it like that, isn't it? So, you need to, not a very big gap at all, and then I need to do a tiny one, and then a quite a big one. Like so, these kind of go up to about there, but you'll see the rest. So then I need to do kind of like here, but they're just a lot closer together, together and a lot smaller. So three little ones kind of per se. And then kind of three medium sized ones. So we're going to do one. It does go a bit further up actually. That is my clock. In case you're new to these videos and you're wondering what the hell that is, it is my clock in the hallway. Like so, and then the last ones we actually need to do are just three tiny little ones there. Move that down. And these are like quite small ones, as you can see, and they're quite close together. You obviously I am doing this with the ruler. You don't have to, it is just my preference. I'm just a bit like I like to do things with the ruler. I think it makes it look neater. Right. So that is that part done. 
So what I'm actually going to do first of all is I'm going to grab my pen, um, go to my notes because I had notes. I made notes while I was at work. Um, right. So there needs to be um, two bits of writing there and there, and some exclamation, um, some question marks. Sorry, there. So up here we need to write, and this is in capitals. meant to be in it a question mark there and then here we need to write can't be unseen so we're gonna write that now and this is in capital letters as well and then here, there is some question marks. So they kind of go like this. <laughs> like so. And then two. more there so then the last kind of bit we need to do is we need to do basically some bits along here and then a little bit of writing so I'm going to do the bits along here first um, just to because it's probably the best idea be two seconds So what I do suggest with this part here is that you do use a ruler, mainly because it just makes it a hell of a lot easier. So what you need to actually draw is one, two, three, four, five, six lines because you want five, one, two, yeah, five blocks. So we're going to draw it all the way across like this. They don't need to be massive. So I believe... It's just shy of a centimetre, really. Um, I'm just doing it by eye, but that is literally what it is. It's just shy of a centimetre. You don't want to do it too big because you want to be able to get the writing in as well as this kind of gibberish kind of thing. One, two, three. Four. Five. Right. So what we're going to do is, there is five lines here, and I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's better or worse without the light. Better or worse? Leave me a comment below, tell me if you want the light on more, or if you want it off. I will do... I think it helps with more. It helps with more. Right, so what we need to do on, along here is basically, it's like coded word. So, um, this is... It's obviously it is a bit random, so I am wondering whether or not to do it with pen outright. I'm going to do it with pen outright, I'm probably going to regret it, but I'm going to do it. So, obviously if you're not confident in this, do do it in pencil first, and then you can rub it out. I have done this once already at work, I have the notes next to me, um, I've done it already in my first book that I did, so, you'll see that. Um, I am hoping that I'm going to be fine. Obviously, work between the lines. Um, that's why I've told you to draw them, because it makes it easier. I will be rubbing the lines out once all this pen is properly dry, and I do leave my work for about a day before I rub it out, because I am... I'd be so kind of heartbroken if I did it all and then smudged it. I'd, I'd be devastated. I'm genuinely being honest. I would be. So, yes. 
but it also helps you guys see it if I do it in pen. So this is like a backwards N. That's the best way I can describe it. So obviously some of these shapes are a bit random. There are dots in places as well. And I'm making sure I'm doing this 100% correct. No, I like to go from there, don't I? Just because it, it's just me being fussy. <laughs> Obviously, be careful to make sure you do have enough room to fill the whole, you know, that you're going to fill the whole, um, you're going to fill it all, but you're also not going to, like, get to the end and then not be able to add bits to it. So... These kind of remind me of those like cookies with like jam in the middle, but they're square. <laughs> You've seen I have left a couple of little gaps between them. They are meant to be there. That's why I have left them. I'm going to be honest, I've never actually worked out what these what this says, like if you do decode it. So if you do know what it says, um, totally leave a comment down below. Um, it's just something I've never got round to and I've never researched either for some untold reason. It's just never, I've never thought about it for some reason. But if you do know what it says, yeah, leave a comment down below so we all know what it says too. They look, like, them ones I've just done is like a kind of square W and this is like a blocky C. And this is like a weird three. That's how I kind of, like, tell myself how to do them, to be honest. Right. And what I'm going to do is what you've probably seen me do in other videos. I'm going to lean this against here so I've got something to lean on if you're doing that and you're working to the bottom of a page always get something to lean on because that's when your drawings and writing does go skew with because you can't reach properly and obviously that's out of experience for myself so yes so you go like that and then that obviously I will be uploading these videos as I'm not sure if I said in this video every Thursday it is UK time that I'm going to be loading it up so it is going to be late evening UK time so I will be filming them late evening UK time as well so obviously depending on where you are obviously that may differ for yourself <laughs> right so this is an upside down triangle but it does have two little dots <laughs> just so in case you can't see that Um, as I said in previous videos as well, um, I am not staining these pages. That is just my preference. You could obviously tea stain the page. 
if you wanted to. Um, I personally don't because in my experience when I was at college etc as well as just in personal life every time I have stained a page and then try to write on it with this type of pen that needs to be used for this it does um, it basically it stays watery so it's the, the pen automatically smudges in my experience so if you want to you can do but personally I'm not so that is why I'm not doing that for this I've got two lines to do and I'm not doing too badly oh. obviously I will be doing all the pages as well for this so I've had requests for the gnome page which I have um, obviously done before so again I will be doing all them pages as I've done previously the only page that I'm going to add to this book that wasn't in my first book was and I can't even remember its name I've been requested it so many times um, and that is why I'm adding it to this book is is it the Gobble Walker? I can't even remember what it's called it's the page with the like funky kind of beast on it I am going to be doing that page in this book I have been requested it so many times um, so yes, I'll definitely be doing it for you guys. Um, obviously, previously I never did that page. So please understand, it will take a, a little bit of time because I do have to obviously then defig um, like describe the whole page again, just like I've done all these pages prior so I can get it as close to the original as possible. Last line, and then just a little bit of writing. <laughs> If you're going to hear strange noises, that's my cat being weird. Because she's a freak. But you have to be weird to live in my family. It's fine. Right, so that is completely done. So that is all obviously that um, text. And the last thing I need to do is just write some script down here. So I'm going to write it and then what I'm going to do is I'll tell you exactly what it says like I normally do. So give me two seconds to write it.
So this last bit here reads, the message above will reveal my theory about the blind eye. I have to code it up just in case my gucket gets snooping around the journal. So obviously this is page one as you can clearly see. Uh, page two, sorry, as you can clearly see. I am going to obviously go over, obviously in my own time, these bits here and I'll show you on the next video how they came out. Obviously if you want to see how what this says on page one of the Blind Eye Society, then obviously watch my previous video and you will see that. So thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video or if it helped you in any way. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the rest of this book. Obviously, you can go back and see the previous pages, obviously, in my old in my video log. Obviously, if you do want to see the rest of these pages being done, then don't forget to hit that bell button because that will notify you every time I upload a video so you won't miss out on another page. Um, obviously, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate all of you guys. Um, obviously you guys are the ones that have made me obviously go away and want to come back and do this book um, also well, ha made me want to find a bit better angle so that you guys can see this better but thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye